Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we have another SR50 Euro 4. It's for a client. I did assemble it unit. Uh, I see there is a lot of new people who don't know about tuning, and there is also some dumb Vision losers who lie in the comments and write shit. So I just wanted to show with uh, let's say. If you have some okay stock parts, what you can make with uh, not much money, basically 70cc sport for everyday use. So what we did, because this uh, SR has 20k, never changed anything on it, the previous owner, it was not serviced. So what we did, we changed uh, the, let me just check, okay I'm recording, we changed uh, uh, the crankshaft bearings, the seals, we also checked the crankshaft, it was good, we bought new Malosi Sport kit, nothing is sport, uh, no porting on the cases, uh, it's only assembled, no porting on the cylinder, only assembled. We have stage 6 Pro Replica Mark II, this is a Sunit C10, it's the same exhaust, we have the stock uh, carburetor 17.5 Delorto, uh, for the uh, uh, ignition we don't have anything, for the CVT we have a Malosi variator uh, and nothing else, that's it. And I just put a new belt because the old one was, uh, it was not uh, used but it was burned out so it was not having good grip. So now this is, I put like 25 case on the new belt, I run it in with a little throttle and full throttle so it should be good. So basically that's everything that's changed on this scooter and some things adapted like the factory sensor I adapted that so basically now we are gonna test top speed and see how it goes keep in mind I'm 70, 70 I don't know 7 I think around 70 kilos I'm not sure should be there or 75 plus minus so I'm thinking we should get around uh, with like 10,800 I think this bike was revving when I was uh, tuning it should be around 95, 98 we have a little bit of wind but it's not a problem also there is a good straight because I was driving around I'm not on the highway but we should, it's a little up but then it's flat it should be good I think so let's see, I've, let me turn on my phone so we are going to check on the camera and... There we go. So there is a new belt, it's a little bit slower, but when it settles more, it will be fine. Hopefully it doesn't slip on, uh, on top end. Let's see. this is so nice setup for the city the smaller carburetor it's it just very good let's see I'm waiting for the cars but yeah I think there is more to this, there is just no, I don't have uh, 
What the fuck is this? 103, interesting. Without wind and along the road, I think we can hit 105. This is very good. Wait, is my camera recording though? Okay, okay. I just drive around so you can see how nicely, I mean, everything is tuned perfectly, but it's very, very easy to, to drive with this motor turbo. <laughs> in my fuck fuck I just close my visor and not see get uh, new tires, uh, the Pirelli Rossos and new brakes and this scooter is so good for driving. You can enjoy it. Even though I don't like the Pirelli, it's really poorly designed but it's so, like it feels like not trash scooter. Before it was very trash. It was not maintained at all. So if you, if you have uh, any ideas for next videos, I will probably also get a mic for vlogging. Just write down and also stop asking me like stupid questions. What jets should I run? What the rollers? Because that's not how it works. You have to know a lot and every scooter uh, requires, every setup is different. Even if you put all the same parts like this, it's not gonna be the same. But I understand most of the guys don't know anything but asking that is very stupid and putting parts that someone else uh, tells you is also stupid so maybe just read some books about uh, two strokes first then CVT tuning and everything else anyway write your ideas and see you in the next video